Get ready to hit the road. The annual Vandom Jeep Heritage Festival is coming back next weekend. It's three days of all things Jeep at the birthplace of the Jeep in Butler, PA. The festival starts next Friday night with a big parade in downtown Butler, followed by a weekend of events at Cooper's Lake Campground. Here to tell us about some new and improved activities is festival director Patty Jo Lambert. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? So much fun. I'm great. Thank you. Um, this is such a fun event. It attracts so many thousands of people. It does. There are so many Jeep enthusiasts throughout the country, and so many of them come to Butler County to celebrate. Butler is the birthplace of the Jeep. Um, we expect to have 2,500 Jeeps this year, maybe even more. Wow. And that's just the people who register to participate in the activities that we offer that they can do with their Jeep. So there's many, many, many more who come out to visit all the vendors who come to sell all the great Jeep parts and accessories as well. So new Jeeps, old Jeeps, Jeeps in between. You can see pretty much every single Jeep from the last more than 70 years since Jeep has existed since 1940. So pretty much every single Jeep that was ever made you can see at the event. Okay, so let's talk about Friday night. What happens there? It starts with a parade. Well, actually this year is our Jeep invasion. So we do our parade every couple years. Um, this year's the Jeep invasion street party. So um, we'll start things out at Cooper's Lake Campground during the day on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But then Friday night we go down into downtown Butler. We park 1200 Jeeps on Main Street. Wow. And we have DJs and food vendors and it's free to attend and um, we we have just so many people there. It's just a great time. Look at that. Fantastic stuff there. And so when you're downtown and you're seeing the Jeeps, are there going to be other vendors there? Because I know they're at the campground as well. Actually, we want the Jeeps to be the only focus at during the Jeep invasion. And plus, we're limited on space because we want to put as many Jeeps downtown as we can. So all of the vendors and all of the other activities take place Friday through Sunday at Cooper's Lake. All right, so talk about the Bantam uh, pool. The oh, the, the Banta Proving Grounds Jeep Pool. That's new for us this year, and we're really excited to offer it. What's really amazing about it is 100% of the pool proceeds will be donated to Canines for Warriors. Great. And Penn's Oil is sponsoring that, so every single person who participates gets a free case of oil, courtesy of Penn's Oil. So what we're doing is a little challenge to see how far people can pull a sled that has weight on it a certain distance, and they're going to get a free digital photo, and more important for most of them, they're going to get some bragging rights. So the Jeep pulls it, not a, a person, right? Correct. Okay. It, it's actually a sled <laughs> that, that will hook up to the Jeeps, and the Jeeps can pull that about 100 feet or so, and it'll be a great thing, and people can register on site to do that. We've been laughing this morning, too, about Jeopardy. Jeopardy. <laughs> Jeopardy is new this year, too, so we're really excited to present that and offer that up. We have all kinds of categories that are all Jeep-related and tons of fun trivia questions, so anybody who um, really thinks they're a big Jeep enthusiast and they know a lot about Jeeps, it'll be a really great opportunity for them to test their knowledge, for sure. Well, and some other contests, too, to really get people involved, decorating your Jeep and also uh, 70s grill unveil. What is that? Yeah, we started a couple years ago. We call it uh, the Faces of Jeep because the grill is really the most important part of a Jeep. It's the most distinguishing factor. So we recognized um, the importance of the grill and we are unveiling every single year we're unveiling another decade of grills. So this year it'll be the grills from the 1970s and that will be very exciting to offer. And then decorate your Jeep. You know, we have noticed that people love to put Jeeps in parades mm -hmm. and when they do that, they love to decorate them. So whether it's a Halloween parade or a Christmas parade or a Memorial Day parade, people love to deck out their Jeeps. So we decided to create a whole new event just for those people this year. So we'll be offering that on Friday. So there is a lot if you are in the Jeep community already, if you love your Jeep, you probably know about the festival. If you don't, what's the reason to come? Well, there's so many things to see and do. One, once again, is all the Jeep history that we talk about. Mm -hmm. in, in our Jeep history exhibit, we'll be showcasing Jeeps from the 1970s. So there'll be about 18 rare and unique Jeeps in that exhibit. And the owners of the Jeeps are there and they love to talk to people about how they restored their Jeep or how they bought their Jeep and all the different things that they did with that. Um, we also have some great things to do if you don't own a Jeep. Um, you can test drive a Jeep. Um, oh, Deal great. Automotive Group has Ride with a Guide and they will actually let you take one of their Jeeps out on a stock trail and you can drive it and go off road and experience so that neat. whole Jeep lifestyle. Um, we have a new activity called the Roxer, which is a side by side UTV vehicle that'll be there for people to test drive. And we have the Jeep Playground and Obstacle Course and I know you showed some footage of that. Right. It is so much fun to sit there and watch the Jeeps go through the mud pit, watch them on the obstacles and it's just a great time for people to sit and watch and see what there is. Well, also, I love to kind of the, if, maybe you're loving the event, loving the weekend, but you guys also give back. 
We sure do, and that's a very important part of our organization, which is called Friends of the Bantam Jeep Association. Our group was formed in 2015, and we um, own and execute the festival. Last year, we gave $30,000 to about 20 nonprofit organizations in Butler County, and we also gave about $20,000 to other nonprofit groups who actually help us execute the event. That's great. So it's really important for our our committee, our volunteers to give back to the community, and we're so happy that the event is successful enough that we can do that. All right, well, thanks so much for coming on. Fingers crossed for some good weather, but I guess a little mud doesn't hurt. A little right? mud makes everybody <laughs> a little more happy. All right, <laughs> thank you so much for coming on this morning. And again, the Bantam Jeep Heritage Festival is back June 8th through the 10th in Butler. Look for the full schedule of all the events online. You'll find the link at kdka.com slash PTL.